What's up guys and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. So we have something a little bit special today. It's a brand new mod part created by MJM. MJM's been making a lot of new stuff lately. And the part that we're checking out today is this fancy device. You might notice that it looks a little bit like the weld tool here. And that's because this part is a glitch weld tool. So anything that we build on this, we can actually glitch weld with anything else. And it actually works really, really simply. It's super easy to use. Let me just go ahead and show you how it works with an example. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put one giant wedge like this. We're going to go ahead and paint it a the light the light cyan color, the lightest cyan color in the paints tool. Just go ahead and paint it. Uh, click this, and it disappeared. And that's because it's copied or cut, I guess. You're, you're cutting it out of existence. <laughs> cutting it out of your life. So anytime that you paint something light cyan and then press E on the glitch weld tool, it will cut out all of the painted parts uh, and put them in, it will just copy them, save them for later. When you're ready to go ahead and paste your other parts back in, just go ahead and press E and there... Nope. Well, I didn't exactly line things up, but you can see how it works. You can glitch weld things together. So you can detach this and weld it to your creation. All you got to do is just make sure that there's something connected to both of these parts. As long as there's one thing connected to both of them, then they should stay together. But if there's nothing touching the individual parts, then they'll just split apart. So that's just something to keep in mind with glitch welding. Now for the fun part, let's experiment because the inventory has a lot of parts and there's a lot of mods on the workshop too. So there's nearly an infinite number of combinations of stuff that we can glitch weld together to see what we create. But today let's keep it very simple. I have a selection of vanilla parts in my hotbars as you can see. And uh, we're gonna try glitch welding some of these together and see what we can make. So over here, I'm just gonna paint myself like a little bit of a landing zone. Okay, so one of the first things that I want to try is maybe putting... Let's merge this and a duck and see what happens. There you go. Cut that out of there. Put a duck down. Paste it again. Oh, oh no. Oh no, never mind. I thought that was gonna come out very differently. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, let's... Uh, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Duck. I'm sorry. Oh, I know! We can put him inside a mug! Is that gonna work? Okay, cut it out. No way! No way! That's so cool! Oh my gosh, this is amazing! You know how some people like to hide ducks in their builds and they're like, find all the ducks? Now you can hide ducks inside a coffee mug. Oh, that's, it's like way in there too. You can't even see it from the outside, except like directly above. I like this combo. That This one's one of my favorites. Okay, the, I, I did see these parts. We'll try a three by three grill of these. Uh, so let's go ahead and paint these. Get them out of there. There's another three by three. So one thing about the glitch welder that you should probably know is that it will just keep on uh, extracting parts out of your build if you just keep on painting them. Uh, so you might notice that it's not going to paste whatever it took out before uh, since I just painted this, like so. But then say I put a duck down here and then did this, then it's going to paste everything that it copied all at once. So, sorry Mr. Duck, you're being tortured today, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Actually, as a matter of fact, we could probably save this little ducky um, just by doing something like uh, this. Make sure that's painted the glitch weld color get that all out of there. We can remove the duck now. Uh, and then I'm also going to put this thing. I don't even know what this part is, but I'm going to put it here and then paste it all back. And whoa. Whoa, that's like, what? What? Whoa. This is like a weird honeycomb pattern. I made a waffle, guys. Look at this. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot my own. Oh, I forgot my own advice. Well, I failed at making a waffle. So there is a ton of other cool stuff that you can do with this. Um, one thing that I really want to try is what happens if you do... Well, what does a, a curve corner look like, but if you didn't actually make it a curve corner, like, properly? What if you just... What if we were stuck back in the olden days of Scrap Mechanic, where we didn't actually have uh, fancy polygon parts, and we had to glitch weld our curves and wedges together to get those corners? So that's how they look like, huh? I don't think we have this as a polygon. This could be a new part. Oh, you know what? You know what? Let's try something else, actually. There you go. There you go. Aw, oh, yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why I did this. You know why. You know why I did it. 
Let's try a bathtub. And... Uh, shark. Shark in the tub! Haha! <laughs> cool? Kinda cool. So real quick guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. I definitely want to do more videos like this. There's all sorts of parts that we can combine together, and I can't wait to see your comments uh, to see what sort of combinations you guys can come up with. What was I doing? Wasn't I working on like a light or something? Let's get that back in there. Yeah, there we go. So you can get this light and you can get it an odd, you can get your even width parts into an odd width. Uh, so let's actually paint those both again. Get those out of there. And uh, weld another light right on in there. Bam, look at this amazing professional light. You know what, there's something else actually. What happens if I do one of these? And then one of these. Oh, double, double the corner light. That actually looks really nice too. What? That's so cool. Dude, that looks so good. Oh, imagine we were like in a spaceship or something and then every so often there's just like a vent. Let's paint these, um, yeah. Yeah, that even looks like a vent. I don't know which light I'm looking at, uh-oh. I can't. Eh. Oh, oh, I had it. No. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Okay. Whew. I lowered both the lights. Yeah, that looks so cool. Oh, I'm so, I'm super happy with this glitch welder. MJM, you are amazing. All these glitch welded parts. Now you can build this sort of stuff in game with ease. No fancy blueprint editing or, or fancy external tools or anything. Now you can build stuff like this all you want in game. Amazing. So I am a little bit curious then, what happens if you glitch weld, hmm, let's try glitch welding uh, a piston, yeah we're gonna try something small like a switch or a duck, but then we're gonna go straight up to a wood block, yeah and just go from there, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, so, switch, paint it blue, piston, and we're gonna put a hand on it. And uh, I guess uh, we're gonna put a switch here to power the piston. So the switch is inside the piston right now and the piston's still able to function correctly. Connect the piston, put the hand on top. Bam. Now, the <laughs> now there's a tiny little duck in there. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Tiny little duck. Um, so the piston still seems to work then. Let's try a wood block now. This is the big test. Because uh, you can attach things to the top of a wood block, so... What happens then? Is this going to interfere with the piston setup? Uh, let's go ahead and put that hand down first. There we go. Okay, the wood block is down. Can the piston function? Yeah, the piston functions normally. Just gotta do this. And then place a piston down. And then uh, we'll place another hand down, actually going the other way. There you go. There you... Oh, it forced it out of the way. Oh, that's right, because anything on bearings or pistons or suspensions can be like slightly moved out of the joint. Oh, that's not coming back down. Interesting, very interesting. Let's see what happens when you do a duck and a hand together. Duck. Actually, no, not a duck. Duck and a horn. There we go. Maybe let's turn the horn around. Is that gonna give the duck like a belly? Oh, it does! What? 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 I have a duck with a belly. Hold on, I gotta paint them both. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, it's a thick boy duck. <laughs> it's like, I got a thick boy duck and he quacks. Uh, wait, does he quack? Oh. Oh my god. Guys. 
Oh my god, guys. <laughs> you can squeeze the duck. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. So somebody on a stream, a live stream, once asked me, what happens if you, like, glitch weld the ridiculously heavy block inside of itself, like, a hundred thousand times? And I told them that that would probably break scrap mechanic physics. It probably would just go through the floor, through the ground. Uh, no questions asked. Like, no, no contest whatsoever. Yeah. Technically speaking, you can weld a ton of stuff inside of itself just by doing this repetitive process over and over. You know, just for just for the sake of uh, let's switch things up a bit by not putting one in the same spot. There you go. <laughs> just just uh, just to you know spice things up a little bit. Uh, you know, I think this is enough. I think this is enough. I have not been counting. I don't know how much I've glitch welded together. So let's just go ahead and put another one down like this. There we go. And bam. Now I have this cluster bomb thing. Uh, 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 I didn't think this through very much, so let's just go ahead and uh, prepare, there we go, prepare to catch this thing as I detach it right here. There we go. Alright, save this as Cluster Berm. There we go, cardboard. Right there. Detach this. There we go, it didn't explode, that's good. Alright, let's move this <laughs> way over here. All right, just gotta hit that cardboard block. What? What? Oh my God. <laughs> it's just a column, a column of explosion. Wow, that is amazing. But there is one more thing that we can try. Uh, there is one more thing that we can truly just try to break this thing. Bam! Glitch welder, glitch welding a glitch welder. Glitch weldington. Super welder! Aw oh, yeah, we're gonna weld in four dimensions. <laughs> uh, this was a lot of fun, and if you have any suggestions for what else you want to see glitch welded together, leave them down in the comments below. You know, before we go, before we go, before we go, we're definitely just going to, uh, I don't know, spring a duck. I didn't use the suspension. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not really, not really what I thought it was going to be. There's got to be something else. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try and make a toilet on fire. That's going to be fun. Oh, but they're different. They're different widths. Come on. Why you gotta be like that? I can make a seat on fire, I suppose. Look at that. Beautiful seat. <laughs> uh, and then you just gotta cover all this up. The heat seat has some patent pending technology. Uh, it really warms up your insides. Ooh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's pretty funny. Uh, let's get rid of it now. Let's see about these toad bots, maybe. That's gonna look pretty cool. Oh, no, it's not, because they're different widths. I keep forgetting about the, the, the width of the part. Let's see if we can get a uh, simple car. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work, because these wheels are on bearings. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know how the glitch welder works with uh, the bearings being there. Oh, oh, that didn't seem to do anything. Interesting. So if I do this, yeah, that, uh, <laughs> okay, so it doesn't work across bearings. I see, I see. That's an interesting, uh, interesting predicament. Okay, not a problem, though. And then we get the mounted spud gun. There we go. Mount that right inside the wheel. Just like that. So now you have a wheel that, <laughs> now you have a wheel that can shoot spuds. Oh, that's pretty cool. So then you just detach it from the back like this. Save this as your wheel. There you go. And just like that, you can have wheels that shoot spuds. Amazing. I mean, you could have that anyway. Like a mod maker could make a wheel that shoots spuds, but why would they do that? Why would they do that? Especially now that you can just <laughs> pack a spud gun inside your wheels. 
So I'm really liking this glitch weld part. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Definitely let MJM know what you think. Uh, d leave a comment for him. You know, go say hi on his mod. I'm going to leave a link to the Steam download in the uh, description. So definitely check that out. Go say hi. So there's a ton of combinations to try. And there's also a ton of mod parts on the workshop as well. So what happens when we glitch weld tank tracks? Find out next time on Glitch Weld It. That's the name of the series. I'm naming it Glitch Weld It. You're going to like it. Just like you're gonna, oh, you know what, actually, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one thing. Oh, no. Alright, so you can't, you can't glitch weld ASCII blocks, unfortunately. Yeah, and these ASCII blocks are sending a clear message here. They don't want to show any dislikes, so you just gotta hit that like button. That's all it is. Hit the like button or else your thumbs will be glitch welded together. Uh-oh. Don't, uh, don't even challenge it, bro. Alright, so that's gonna be it for Glitch Weld It, uh, episode one. <laughs> don't forget to leave your suggestions down in the comments below definitely let me know what you want to see glitch welded together there's a lot of parts it, just in the vanilla inventory i didn't try all the combinations but there's a lot of mod parts on the steam workshop and that's like infinite upon infinite number of things that we can glitch weld together so leave your comments down below leave your suggestions what you want to see glitch welded together and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to